Gudari, Georgia's biggest ski resort. We've been looking forward to going skiing for our first time and having our first ever white Christmas and to top it all off, we were finally on holiday. For you who are New Year, we are digital nomads who work remotely all over the world and been in Georgia for the past month. Before Gudari, we were planned to spend a week in the nearby Kazbeki. But this adventure did not quite turn out as planned and we're filled with many ups and downs. There's a few videos of our Gudari ski adventures or misadventures, so follow along for those. This is the first one, getting there. So I was walking back from my walk and 50 meters away Jared's like, guess what? And I'm like, what? Like, you know, like, oh, what is it? And I get you and he's saying that the road to Kazbeki is closed. He's been saying the whole time, like, you have to be careful because roads can be closed and stuff. And I thought, yeah, no, it wouldn't happen. But apparently it just happened. So, so we're supposed to be going to Kaspeki today. And then on Friday, we're going to Gudari. Um, <laughs> but we can't get to Kaspeki because the roads are closed because it's too much snow. 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 And they can't start, like, getting the snow off the road until the sun comes out for some reason. And it's, like, 11, but <laughs> there's no sun. So we're going to go in the car and try and get as close as we can and then just stay in the closest town. This is exciting, we've been the whole time, oh, where's the snow, where's the snow? And now there's too much snow, so we can't go. <laughs> the morning started out really well. I went for a walk at the glamping place we've been spending the weekend at. You have to watch the previous video for one of the best glamping places in all of Georgia called Jewelberry. After a lot of calls and messages to figure out what to do and where to go, we were finally on our way. The snow was so hectic that roads were closed and trucks couldn't take the road at all. For literally more than 100 kilometers, trucks were parked on the side of the road and had to wait about 5 days for the roads to open. These trucks come from Turkey, Armenia, Azerbaijan, pass through Georgia to transport goods to Russia. A long journey. The truck drivers stay for days in their trucks on the side of the road and I think will I hope they had a lot of extra food because when this happens they have no idea for how long they'd be stranded. We just stopped for water at this insane castle place. <laughs> the people at Jewelberry Climbing has been so nice. They really try and organize like transport for us and like find other places to stay on the way and I'll guide who was a guide yesterday who's taking us today is so nice and even tried for us to get with a cable car from Qatari to Kazbeki. Oh they really tried and so nice. So many doggies everywhere. Papa doggies. A reminder that for every new subscriber we feed a stray animal and there's a lot of stray animals so don't be shy to hit subscribe. The neglect of strays all over the world is heartbreaking. And these ones in Georgia were freezing and starving in minus 10 degrees, including puppies and fights break out all the time for food. You can also visit www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash travels to donate a meal for only the price of a takeaway coffee or help with medical treatments. Thank you so much. And then we hit the part where the road is closed. But Peso, the guy who drove us, tried his best to get us as far as possible. He even tried to organize cable cars and 4x4s for the rest of the way. He helped us out again later when we were stuck at the border in Georgia. I've linked his details below. If you ever need a driver in Georgia, you have to contact Peso. Yes. I think it's time to put on our snow boots. <laughs> We are just standing, waiting to know if we can go, but we are kind of also okay if we can't go and just be safe and rather just stay in a town close by and hopefully we can get them for Christmas because we've already paid for Christmas accommodation like four days and it's just snowing and snowing. We were not able to continue driving and ended up staying in the closest town, Pasinari, for the night. Very cute, more of a street than a town, but hey, we had a place to sleep. It's actually not that cold no, for some like reason. Degrees. It's like five degrees and like Jared's walking in his t-shirt 
and snow jacket and I'm wearing this and a snow jacket and I'm actually fine but I think it's gonna be minus by 15 on Thursday so I think it's getting colder yeah <laughs> our sheets were so dirty from the previous place at least I kind of clean now from well, all the snow clean at all. <laughs> well, they, 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 got they, dirty. they're cleaner than they were look how clean they are at the bottom cleaner look. So venturing out to get food as we usually do did I mention my snow boots? Ba 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 ba. Wearing our snow boots for the first time. Look at them. And then look at the cool people. <sighs> Let's go get food. For the last month, every morning, this has been the most exciting thing I did. Every morning, I go in the Godari live cam and check if there's snow. Hey, go back. And it's, it's snowing. And there was a little trucky cleaning it. No, no. The guy found us now and the, the road is apparently open, you can come. There's a whole bunch of other people we met here in the same hotel doing the same thing, waiting. Ilka's forcing me to do this because she's busy getting packed while packing, and we have 15 minutes. This is one of the views we have of the hotel that we're in. But basically, I think we have 15 minutes to get through the snowstorm before it snows heavily again tonight. 1.3 meters of snow, um, and we have like a whole bunch of hotels booked for the next three weeks in Godari, and we have to get there. We weren't able to make it to Kasbeki as planned, as the roads were still blocked there. So we started our Godari stint a bit earlier. After a few stops and goes, and we quickly tried and book. Like we've never been this impromptu with bookings. Like the place we stayed in last night, we just walked in and asked for a room. And this one we literally booked when we were dropping down people next door. Do you want to show the snow out of our way? Um, yes, and it's cute. I'm just, I really want a lawn washing machine. But he says he'll take our laundry and go wash it. It has a closet thingy and it has a bathroom. Yay. And then it has all our million bags because we have laundry and a couch and a, oh, there's a table and a bed and snow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You're going to get lost and wet. Elka is wearing tights as well, so she's literally going to be full of water. It is very hard to walk on ice. Do you think it's snow around us? It's all white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> also, naturally, things I think are a bit more expensive, especially like food, because it's quite hard to get food here <laughs> and there's not many options, so they can price it however. Yeah, somehow there's no taxis here. Well, that we can really see. There's not like Ubers and stuff. You mean so, somehow? Have you seen how much snow there is? So, need to get... They keep cleaning the road, it's snowing. Need to get to a shop so we can get like milk to have coffee and tea. It's just heaps and heaps of snow. That's where we stay. In the apartment area, the shops are about like a K away. But I think when you stay closer to the hotel side, which is like the other side of the road, you're closer to stuff. Where are you going next week? But um, it is snowing a bit. It's quite cold if your car freezes. Still trying to find like my bearings of like where what is and like where the ski lifts are and stuff. But I think uh, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, First skiers. Also, waterproof snow boots are a must. They're life saving. So we made it to the only grocery shop, which is at the petrol station in Gudari. It was 250 rand to get here and back for the taxi two for two kilometers. I recommend when coming, maybe bring your groceries with from the city. There's two parts to go dairy. Woo! Snow. There's two parts to go dairy. There's a new Godari and an old Godari. The new Godari is where like ooh, all the all the apartments are and it's high, it's where we are now. And then there's an old Godari, which is where all the hotels are. And the shop this. we went to earlier. Look at this. <laughs> this is a car. This is a car in there. It is insane. 
also found the ski school I've been talking to online just down the road which is great we don't have to get a 250 round taxi there also bunch of dogs don't think they're only in Tbilisi oh, that, their feet are always sore I don't know why Easy to walk well, in the snow. Ahead of you, you can see where you're walking. It's like these ditches that you walk in. Oh wow! People are learning to ski. Oh, this guy's learning to snowboard. There's the gyro. It's just like snow and snow and snow. Thank you so much for watching. Next week we learn to ski or try to learn and ski. So I'm just gonna lay here for a bit. <laughs> and spend Christmas with friends in the snow in Good Dowry Loft. Remember to subscribe, check out a great visa company, link below for all your visa needs and links to where we stayed. Bye!